Hello, my book friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> That's better. <laughs> my name is Carly. Uh, we are already talking about our September TBR hopefuls, which is insane. I feel like we just picked our August ones, but here we are. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to be using a random TBR prompt wheel to help me pick the hopefuls this month because I have no idea. I'm such a mood reader. It's difficult for me to like have a set plan with my hopefuls and to actually read them sometimes. Like last month was pretty successful. I think I read all but one on my hopefuls list and the month prior only read one. So it is so hit or miss. It's just difficult. <laughs> but before we get to the wheel and start picking things for September, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to notify you when I upload. I upload every week. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you have anything to say, if you like the books I've picked or if you have any certain feelings towards them, let me know down in the comments. I love talking with you guys. Let's go ahead, get to the wheel and pick what my September TBR hopefuls are going to be. Okay, let's go ahead and spin the wheel for the first prompt for the books. A blue cover. Okay, bitch. That's easy. I can do that, I think. <laughs> And I'm going to show you guys what all I pick at the very end. So let's go ahead and go through. I'm going to pick four books because I like to keep my hopefuls low, low expectations. Okay. I don't like to do like huge hopefuls. I don't like to fail. Okay. So if I have a huge hopeful and I don't get to fucking any of them, sad days, I'm, I'll go into a spiral. Can't do it. Let's go ahead and get another prompt. See, see what we get. An obscure book. Jesus. Okay, that one was difficult. Let's get our next one. Popular book. Hmm. Okay, last one. Let's see what the prompt is going to be. Based on a true story. I have the perfect one. Okay, I have my four books I got um, for the first prompt, which was a blue cover. Christina Lauren's Dating You, Hating You. I believe this may be like a f fake dating. I have no idea. Despite the odds stacked against them after an embarrassing meet awkward at a mutual friend's Halloween party, Carter and Evie immediately hit it off. Even the realization that they're both high-powered agents at competing firms in Hollywood isn't enough to squash the fire, but when their two agencies merge, causing the pair to vie for the same position, all bets are off. What could have been a beautiful, blossoming romance turns into an all-out war of sabotage. Carter and Evie are both 30-something professionals, so why can't they act like it? We're getting enemies to lovers. I'm here for it. And I love Christina Lauren, but some of her, her more recent ones have been misses for me. So I don't know if I have high expectations or low expectations with that one. <laughs> the next prompt was an, ex an obscure book. Obscure for me, like how I interpret that is, I would say, I think I would say like, you don't hear about you don't see about really I don't know that's what I'm gonna go with so I picked the nightmare man by J.H. Markert um it is I believe it's about a father and daughter like um investigators people go missing I believe that's what it is yeah T. Kingfisher meets Cassandra Call. I've never read any of their books, so I have no fucking clue. In a chilling horror novel that illustrates the fine line between humanity and monstrosity. Ooh. It's giving, um, the cover's giving uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark movie poster. If you guys remember that, when that movie came out, that's what it's giving. But I feel like this is appropriate because... It's almost spooky season, y'all. It's time to get into the horror, so I'm here for it. The next prompt was a popular book, Addicted to You. This is by Krista M. Becker-Ritchie. I believe this is part of the Callaway Addicted series. 
Um, I hear people talk about it all the time. People on BookTube, people on Bookstagram, BookTok. Everybody talks about this series and sometimes it's a kid or miss. I know there's a lot of fucking books in this series. I only have the first one. So if I like it, I'm going to have to struggle until October to get more. But I figured why not? Why not try this one out? See if it's worth the hype. I'm excited. Excited to see if I like this one. The last prompt I got was based on a true story and I immediately knew which one I wanted to pick and it's Anne Rule's Small Sacrifices. This is, first of all, Anne Rule is my favorite true crime writer. Absolutely love her. She was based in the Pacific Northwest, specifically in the Seattle area. She worked with Ted Bundy. She lived like down the street from the Green River Killer. She's fantastic. I love her writing when it comes to true crime, how she really like humanizes because sometimes when you're reading about people and victims and stuff, it I don't know, it doesn't seem real. But my absolute favorite from her is Green River Running Red based on the Green River serial killer. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic book. If you have to read one of hers, read that one first. Do not read The Stranger Beside Me first, even though it's still good. I have my thoughts on that one. <laughs> um, but this one is about Diane Downs. This is where she ends up um, killing, uh, I believe one of her children, two of them live. It's been a while since I've heard that story. But um, she staged this whole thing saying that, oh, someone attacked them, all these things. No, she did it. She's a fucking psychopath. It's absolutely fascinating. And there's also like pictures. She always puts pictures in her books. Um, it's absolutely fascinating, um, because she is crazy, like absolutely crazy. If you watched, if you were a true crime enthusiast and you've watched anything on Diane Downs and like her interviews and stuff, she's cuckoo. Like there's nothing behind those eyes, but like evil. It's insane. So I have not read this. I don't know why I haven't read it. Um, I used to be on such a kick with true crime and stuff, and I just have not read a true crime in so long. It's probably been like a year. I, I think I listened to an audiobook last year about it, about something, but I love a good true crime story because it just, mm, I don't know. I love it. I love the whole, like, what is it? Like 2020 dateline. I'm here for it. So this immediately came to mind and I think it's also perfect for spooky season, but it's very fascinating. So if you've ever read anything by Anne Rule, you know where it's at. I'm here for it. Those are the four books I chose for my September TBR from the random TBR prompt wheel. If you guys want to use the prompt wheel, I'll put the website I found it at down in the description. Um, they also can, they also have like cards you can do, but I wanted to, I wanted to like, I didn't want to do a lot because again, like I said, I don't want to fail because I've just been reading slower and again, mood reader, you know what I mean? But I'm excited about these and I think this is actually a really good uh, mix. The only thing I'm missing is like fantasy. This is a really good like mix of what I like to read. Romance, horror, true crime. Like I'm here for it. Like I'm about it. So I'm excited about these and I'm excited about September because one, there's a lot of good books coming out that I can't fucking buy yet, but I can just like look at. <laughs> But also, I still have a ton of good books that I need to read from my physical TBR. And this is just a small little piece of them that I need to get through. But I'm excited about these. If you've read any of these, let me know down in the comments if what your thoughts were on them. Um, but I'm excited. I'm sure I'll read some of them maybe in future videos. Who knows? But until the next video, bye guys.